folks, how y'all doing? Woo! All right, folks, I got a question for you. Anybody know what you're here to see? No? That's all right, you're here to see a melodrama. That's French for really bad play. Uh, that ain't French. All right, so it ain't French. But you know what, it is bad play. And I tell you what, these things here used to take place about 100 to 150 years ago, way back at the turn of the century. Now, they were mighty popular back then. It's the only form of family entertainment you can find. The only thing better than this was a good old-fashioned hanging, and the folks called it a swinging good time. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, the jokes get a lot worse, too. Even though you'd have yourself a barn dance, a horse race, or even fellas sitting around a fire making music. If this comes out, you're coming from 100 miles around just to see it put on. They got problems. You're being put on by fellas traveling from the east to the west. Problem is, the women won't travel with them. What? No women! Nope, would have been improper, would have lost them their reputations. So to save the reputations, the women stayed back in the east, put on their shows, sent the boys on their own to the west. That's a problem, too. Every place since the beginning of time, all the way back to Shakespeare, it always had a damsel in distress. And I'll let you figure out what that means for our boys on stage. Now, to have a really good melodrama, you need a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff we ain't got, so you're getting an okay to mediocre one. Now, the first thing you need for that is a script. We've got a script that ain't too good, but it is accurate enough to what they would have used back then. Next, you're going to need actors. We ain't got none. What we got is the best entertainers for about a block. What? We're the only entertainers on the block. Yeah, I told you that's why we're the best. Now, there's one last thing we need. It's audience participation. We got the audience. We're going to get our participation, right? Yeah! Woo! That's right, because you all got as many lives in this show as we got, and like us, you don't know your lives. We're the same. That's why we got the cards to help you follow along. The first one's for the villain. He's mean, he's rotten, he ain't a nice guy. Did y'all do this? Woo! He's so mean and rotten, he's gonna need another card. Spit! Oh, uh, you ain't gotta spit, all right? Just drop off the H in the eye and go like a snake. Yeah, that's a lot better. Now this next one, it stands for pain, agony, anguish, and despair, and it kind of goes like this. Ah, ha, 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 ah, ha. Ah. Yeah, all right, maybe it does sound like bad acting. We'll make it easy, everybody just go, aww. Aww. Now this next one's how we're gonna get paid, so I'd like to hear a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, and you're gonna force those out the whole time, too. Now this card's fun. Means you get to scream and shout, stomp your feet, clap your hands, hoop, holler, heck, do anything that makes you feel good. Yeah, we can do anything. No, not anything. There's kids around here. Oh. So on the count of three, I want everybody so loud. If there's anybody out there looking for the show, they hear it and come see what's going on. One, two, three, go! <laughs> now it's time for my favorite card in this show. If you don't like spoilers, then it's time you cover your eyes. You're not going to say, oh, you're going to run for the door. Now, I want you to pay close attention, folks. Sometimes the cards get hidden inside her clothes. Other times, they'll magically appear out of nowhere. What? I said they could magically appear out of nowhere. What? Hey, clean out your ears, folks. I told you they magically appear out of nowhere. What? <laughs> All right, they're going to magically appear out of nowhere. What? In my nose. Now, this is the last one I'm going to show you, so everybody just repeat after me. Early. Early. One. One. Day. Day. Day one early. Day one early. One early day. One early day. Let's check out Penelope. Come on, it's showtime. You get out here. Oh. Oh. oh, it's a beautiful day. The sun is shining, the sky is blue, and the birds are singing in the tree. Chirp, 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 chirp. Mark, mark, mark. What? I said a bird. What was that? Mine was a bird dog. <laughs> We're on the card, folks. Hey, now you see why we need these so bad. <laughs> well, when I woke up this morning, I feel something really good was going to happen to me today. Yeah, it didn't happen. <laughs> but if you ask me, Miss Penelope P. Puddlehopper, I sure could use something good to happen to me right about now. Who is he? Domino's. Domino's Pizza. Yep, delivery in 30 days later. Oh, 30 days later. How is that? Five Pony Express, of course. Oh, I want a cold old pizza.
to try something else. Ding dong. Who, who is it? Avon, Kai. Oh, ladies, it's Avon. You're two weeks overdue and I'm here to collect. Oh, yeah, I can to talk to you about that fine sir. Talk? You think I want talk? I want cash! Oh, I don't have any cash. And why not? I'm poor. Oh, no, she's poor. Oh. Yeah, I'm broke. She's broke. Oh. Damn right, Penny Lee. She went commando. <laughs> No, I'm flat busted. Yeah, I think we all see that. <laughs> well, if that's the case, I'm gonna throw you and your bum of a father out on the streets! Oh, oh no, uh, there must be something that I can do. Well, you could always just marry me! <laughs> Are you serious? Well, why not? Uh, you're mean? I am mean! And you're rotten? I am rotten! Oh. Yeah, he's damn right despicable. Dis Oh. Why, that's a man's finest quality. Yes. Ain't that right, gentlemen? Yeah. You're a bunch of cowards, you know that. Yeah, that's the only quality. Plus, you got a few other small issues. Hey, hey! <laughs> Why, that ain't nothing to laugh about. That's true. And besides that, you're a cowboy. Oh, yeah? Well, you look like Shrek's wife. Oh. I have to dress like this. I'm poor! Oh, yeah? You're poorly dressed. <laughs> Joke's on you. I got this dress half off. Oh! Look, if you don't have my money by 4 o'clock, it'll be wedding bells for you. At 4 o'clock, I shall return. Well, it's been four long years since Papa went out in the desert looking for gold. Wouldn't you know his unemployment just ran out? Oh. Hey, don't worry, four years unemployment, that's the longest I ever heard of. <laughs> well, I got Mom and Pop here. I guess I'm going to have to sell that. Aww. Yeah, folks, it truly means the world to me. Aww. Yeah, she sold it to me on her deathbed. <laughs> that's all, Matthew. I'm going to have to go into town and sell it. Oh, that's all we need. You all over town trying to sell it. <laughs> Mama's luck. Yeah, well, I'm off to town, folks. Toodaloo! Toodaloo. All right, I'm wearing a dress and I got a gun. Y'all better say toodaloo. Toodaloo! As time passes, our seconds in this case, meanwhile, back at the ranch. What do you mean, $200 for a chicken? Oh, not that ranch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been all over town, and I just couldn't sell it. Big surprise. Uh -oh. Mama's locked it. <laughs> I guess it's only true values in my heart. I wish Papa were here. He'd know what to do. Oh, Banana P. What? Papa? Banana P. Papa? Oh, Banana P. Papa? Banana P. Papa? Banana P, where are you going? Oh. You know, there's only two stairs back there. Papa. I have horrible news. What? Your mother's back. Oh, oh no. What? Papa, that's impossible. Oh, good. Oh, Papa, that evil Lord had Nelson was here today. Evil Lord Half Nelson. Yeah. Why, what a dead, no good, yeah. dirty, rotten, yeah, but incredibly handsome young yeah. man won. He says, uh, I was two weeks overdue. Two weeks overdue? You're not even showing. Not me, Papa, the mortgage. Oh, it's the mortgage. Well, I guess we'll just have to call it a lease. <laughs> oh, oh, well, Papa, I've been thinking. Ha, ah, that's a first. <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking you need to get a job there. I don't need no stinking job. No, I don't. You weren't there that day. Why, it was four long years ago, right after your mother accidentally fell off the cliff. Oh. I spent those years out in that desert searching for gold. When you know they didn't find any. Oh, I got to thinking maybe I'd just have to hang myself. Oh, no, Papa's gonna hang himself. Well, I was. Yeah, what the world stopped you? Oh, look here. Now, I knew I was gonna need a grave. 
And so I took my shovel and I started to dig. Uh -huh. And I dug, and I dig, and I dug, and I dig, and I dug, and I dug, and I dug. Ah, what? Don't think it's deep enough in here already. Well, what's the matter? Can you dig it? Yes, you yes. can. See, they like movies from the 80s. You need to that Yeah, well, I dug so far and so deep I found this. What? Papa, this is a dirty, rotten old bag. No, it's not your mother. Oh, Papa. Papa, what's in a dirty old bag? Oh, she could cook and she could clean, but she was ugly. Oh, boy, was she ugly. And this here line folks ever say, How's it was she? Well, thanks for asking, folks, but that ought to tell you enough right there. Oh. Yeah, I had to take the wound with me everywhere I went. Oh, why in the world did you have to do that, though, no Papa? Oh, to keep from kissing her goodbye. <laughs> Fortunately, that's the best line in the show, folks. It's all downhill from here. Yep, just like Mama. What? Mama, Papa. Papa, what's in this bag? That bag? Why, that ain't nothing but your average, ordinary, everyday gold! And that's your line, folks. Anybody says gold, you say dust. Gold. Dust. Gold. Dust. Dust. Gold. Oh, they figured it out. Yeah, they're pretty smart, Pop. But what does this mean, though, Pop? Why it means we're rich. Woo! Better yet, it means the end is near. Woo! Yeah, that's even better. Trust me, y'all. Right, now we can move out to Summerlin, Papa. We we'll get that big old house with a swimming pool and a jacuzzi. We'll even finally get that fourth wall right here, Papa. Or maybe you could leave wall enough at all. Pop, if so, the people people probably been having all day. Well, I guess you may be right. Yeah. I'm gonna head back in that desert and look for more gold! Yes. Yes. Goodbye, everybody! Bye, Papa! Well, look at that, folks. It's almost four o'clock, you know what that means? We obviously spare no expenses on our props. <laughs> but if you put your hand in your ear and you listen really closely, you can hear the clippy clock of the evil Lord Half Nelson's horse coming up my driveway right about now. Hey! <laughs> 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 All right, I said a horse what was that. It was my new Mustang. <laughs> All right, sounds like a beat up old pin to me, buddy. Yeah, it needs more horsepower. It's why I've got the long face. <laughs> but it's time to stop beating a dead horse. I can tell by the smile on your face you're ready to marry me. No, I have cats. Well, I don't sorry, see any... I'm sorry. Oh, Steve. I don't see any large sums of cash here. How are you going to pay? A little bit of... Oh, there we go. Why, that's a dirty bag. Oh, mama's gone. You're right. It's full of gold. Yes. How'd they know? Why, it's just enough for the mortgage. Uh -huh. Are you sure you wouldn't rather marry oh, me? Oh, buddy. Huh? Well, we can fool around a little. I don't think so. Well, how about we go to Ben and Jerry's? Oh. All right, that one is a little tempting. We could move in together. <laughs> Why in the world would I do that? Be like Ico, it'd save you money in 15 minutes or less. <laughs> Hold on, this, I'm sure of it there, buddy. Not begging of the darkness or tip ever again. Well, I'll be back twice as mean. Yeah. Twice as rotten. And three times as despicable oh. as ever. Why, I may even be a full Nelson. Uh, all right, how are you going to do that? I got a date with someone worse than this show. <laughs> All right, you've seen this show. What could be worse than this? Have you never met the IRS? Oh. I typed out you're going to be a quarter now, buddy. I'll be back, Miss Puddle Jumper. It's Puddle Hopper. Purple Hopper. Puddle Hopper. Piano Hopper. <laughs> hey, that never happened. <laughs> All right, I got the mortgage. That evil Lord Half Nelson's gone. Woo! The court you all been done. Hope this is. No! Yep, let's hear from the man backstage playing two roles. Even Lord Half Nelson and Papa. Nevada Nick, everybody. Woo! And let's hear from the man in the rest of the day. That's Mountain Mike. Woo! Well, now, folks, we're going to have another show outside here in a moment. We ask that you stay away from the marshal's office. We got props set up. We don't want you getting hurt. More importantly, you could ruin the show, and as you can see, we don't need any help. Now, if you want something to eat or something to drink, see the bartender over there. If not, head outside, pick a table, any table. But this is still Vegas. No matter what table you pick, you're gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs>